I want to take my left hand and I want to put emphasis on the A flat. All right, the right hand I'm using C, E flat, and A flat. All right. All right, and my left hand, the second chord, I'm going to use G and B flat. All right. And the right hand, I have E flat, G, and B flat. All right. All right, and you'll notice I'll do a couple of stabs. All right, here we have the E flat and the G and the B flat. So I'm basically just taking out the, the um, excuse me, the F and um, B flat. I'm taking out the G. All right, and then we have F in the left hand and A flat, B flat, C, and E flat in the right hand. All right, I'll put the C there in my left hand. Sometimes I'll take it out. All right, and we have E flat, F, G, and B flat. All right. And you'll notice as well, I'm going to flam. All right, we have the A flat. Now we could put the B flat in there as well, but I'm going to flam from B flat to C. All right. And I'll do the same thing down here with the E flat. F, G, and B flat chord. All right. All right. Okay. Now uh, let's move to. All right. The change. So we have. Let's go with A flat, C, D flat, F in the left hand. All right. And A flat, C, F in the right hand. Let's resolve with G, D flat, F in the left hand, and the right hand is B flat, E flat, and G. Okay? And this is over the B flat. All right. All right. Now, another way of playing that chord is. actually put emphasis on the bass note all right and then we move to the E flat and the only thing that we'll do in the right hand is drop down from A flat to G all right so you have a couple of approaches there. all right and then you go back into the 